Now, number two, the capacity of a fuel tank is 55 liters. Find its volume in meter cube. The capacity of the tank is given as 55 liters. Now, to find in meter cubes, we are going to divide by 1,000 because a thousand liters, which is 1,000 liters, makes one meter cube. Okay, 1,000 liters is equal to one meter cube. So we just divide by 1,000. Now, when we do that, we have our answer as 0 0.055 liters. Number three, the diagram below shows a rectangular swimming pool of 20 meter long and 8 meters wide. Now, when the swimming pool is full, the depth of the water is 170 centimeters throughout. Okay, we have the, the diagram here. Okay, this is the length of the swimming pool, 20 meters long and 8 centimeters wide. They said when it is full, it has a depth of 170 centimeters. Now, we are asked to find A, how many liters of water does it contain? How many liters of water can the swimming pool contain? B, how many cubic centimeters of water does it contain? Sim simply meaning when we get the liters, we have to convert it to centimeter solution. Now, all the units must be the same. We've established that fact. So we are first of all going to convert the centimeters to meters so we can all have the same units. So when we convert 170 centimeters to meters, we are going to have 1.7. How do we do that? We simply divide by 100. Okay? Now, the volume of the swimming pool is length times width times height. Okay? Formula for finding the volume of any cuboid or rectangle is length times width times height. And when we do the uh, multiplication, we have our answers 272 meter cubed. Okay? Now, we're asked to find it in liters. Okay? We have it here in volume. Okay? So now, let's convert it to liters. We are asked to look for it in, meet in liters. Now, one meter cube makes 1,000 liters. Okay, one meter cube makes 1,000 liters. So, we have 272, 272 meter cube multiplied by 1,000 to give us our answer in liters, which is 272,000 liters. So, therefore, the swimming pool can hold 272,000 liters of water. Now, B, we're asked to look for the answer in centimeter cubes, okay, in centimeter cubes. So, in doing that, we know that one liter makes 1,000 centimeters. One liter makes 1,000 centimeters. So, to convert it to centimeter cubes, okay, we are going to multiply it by, multiply 272,000 liters by 1,000. Okay, when we do that, we have 272 million centimeter cubes. Okay, so therefore, the pool contains 272 million centimeter, or centimeter cubes of water. Now, let's look at solids of uniform cross-section. Solids of uniform cross-section. Now, a prism is a solid with uniform or constant cross-section, meaning a prism has the same, that is, it has uniform cross-section. When a prism is cut into slices parallel to the ends, Okay, when the prism is cut like into different sizes, the cross sections obtained always have the same shapes and sizes. Let's look at this prism here. Okay, we cut this prism into three. Now, if you look at it when it is cut here, you see that they are the same. It has uniform shape. It has a uniform size, equal length, equal sizes. Okay, you can easily find the cross section by looking for one of the two identical end faces. Okay? If you are looking for the cross section of a, of a prism, you can identify it by looking for the similar end faces, the identical end faces. Okay? Look, looking at this prism, you see that the cross sections are the same. We have three and they are, they are all uniform. They are the same. Now, volumes of right Prisms. Okay, a prism is said to be a right prism when it has all its edges vertical to the base and they are all in equal length. Okay, a prism is said to be a right prism when it has all its edges or all its sides vertical to the base and they are all equal in length. That is, a right prism has, has its sides vertically opposite to the base 
and they have equal length. Now look at this cuboid. Okay, you see we have the cutting line here. Okay, and its edges are opposite. They are vertically opposite to the base. This is the base. Okay, its edges are vertical to the base, and you see that they all have equal length. Okay, equal, 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 equal length. Now we know that the volume of a cuboid, a volume of a rectangular cuboid is length times width times height. But now the volume of a right prism is given as V equal to half length times width times height. Take note of the formula half length times width times height. Now a cuboid can be cut into half to obtain two equal right angle triangular prisms as we've seen in this diagram okay when you cut this prism into two we have triangular prisms okay now recall that the volume of a cuboid is given as length times width times height like i've said now the volume of a triangular prism is half because we've cut this cuboid into two and we now have two different prisms okay which now forms a triangular shaped prism we can now say because it is half that the volume of a triangular prism is given as half length times width times height now notice that the base of this prism is a right angle triangle let's look at it again you will see that the base this is the base of this prism you will see that this is a right angle triangle okay it is a right angled triangle okay now the area of the base of the prism will now be half length times width. Why is it half? Because we've shared the cuboid into two. Okay, we've shared it into two. So it's now given the, the area of the base of the prism is half length times width. Hence, the volume of any right angle triangular prism is given as area of the base times height. Or is given as half length times width times height remember we said area of the base is half length times width so we can just say in the case where the length and the width is not given and the area of the base is given we can just say the volume of the right angle triangular prism is v equals area of base times height or v equals area of cross section cross section meaning the same thing as area of base times the height or v equals area of the end face okay the end face the same thing as the base okay the same thing as the area of the base the same thing as the area of the cross section multiplied by the height where the height is the distance between end faces look at this um cuboid you see that the height is the distance between this end face and this end face that is the top face and the base face that is the height now let's take some examples. Number one, find the volume of this triangular prism. Okay, we're given a triangular prism here. Now we're asked to find the volume. The first thing we are going to look for is the area of the triangular face. Okay, now we, we have extracted the triangular face from this prism and this is what we have. We have the height as 7 centimeters and the base as 4 centimeters. If you look at this, you will see the triangular face down here. Okay, the height 7 centimeters and the base 4 centimeters. And we've said that the area, the formula for looking for the area of a triangular face is half base times height. Okay, now when we input all the values in the formula, we have the area as 14 centimeter square. 14 centimeter square. So therefore, let's look for the volume. The volume will now be the area of the triangular face multiplied by the height of the prism. That is A times H. So we've gotten the area of the triangular face as 14. And the height of the prism here is given as 12. So when we do the multiplication, we have our volume as 168 centimeters cubed. I hope you understand. Now, number two, calculate the volume of the wedge. Okay? Calculate the volume of the wedge that is shown in this diagram. A wedge is also a triangular prism. Okay? Now, look at it. Look at it very well. Okay, you can see the triangular faces here. Okay, this is the base, this is the triangular face. Now, let's calculate for the area of the triangular face or the area of the base first. The area 
of triangular face, we've been given the formula as half base times height. So the base is 6 centimeters and the height is 4 centimeters. And when we do the multiplication, we have the area of the triangular face as 12 centimeters square. So therefore, to look for the volume, okay, is area of the triangular face multiplied by the height or the length. In this case, we are giving the length, okay, the length or the height. So when we do the multiplication, we have the volume as 180 centimeters square. Now note that the distance between the end faces, okay, the distance between the two end faces here is the length. Remember in the previous example, the distance was called the height. It can be used interchangeably, okay, it can be used interchangeably. So the distance here was the height. So the volume of this wedge is 180 centimeters squared. Number three, the diagram below shows the cross section of a prism. Okay, now if the length of the prism is 25 centimeters, calculate its volume. We're giving a cross section of a prism. This is just a part of a prism. Okay, and we're asked to look for the volume, we're giving the length of the prism as 25 centimeters. Now let's go. The first thing to do here is to look for the area of the cross section. Now if you look at this diagram, you see that it's a compound diagram. So what we are going to do, we are going to divide it into different parts. You see we have part 1, 2, and 3. So first of all, we're going to look for the area of these individual parts. Now to so look for the area of 1, you know it is base times height. So Area of 1 here is 7 times 3. The part 2 here, also 7 times 3 centimeters. And the, the third part here is 15 times 4. Okay? Now, when you do that, you have the first area of, the first area as 21, second one as 21 also, and the third one as 60. Now, when you add all together, you have 102 centimeters square. So, therefore, the area of this cross section is 102 centimeters centimeter square. Now that we've gotten the area, let us look for the volume of the prism. Okay, now we said that the volume of prism can be given as the area of the cross section times the length. The area of the cross section multiplied by the length. So we've gotten the area of the cross section as 120, 102 centimeters square. Now, the length in the question was given to us as 25. Okay, so when you multiply it, you, we, we have our answer as 2,550 centimeters cubed. Remember that the volume is equal to the area of cross-section multiplied by the length or height or depth. So our final answer, the volume for this prism is 2,550 centimeters cubed. I hope you understand. Now let's go to surface area of prisms, surface area of prisms. A cuboid has six faces, okay? A cuboid has six faces. Now look at this diagram. We have one, two, three. There is a part underneath here, and there is a part underneath here, and there is a part behind here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. You see? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So find the surface area of this cuboid, okay, we are first of all going to look for the areas of the individual faces of this cuboid. Now, the area of the front face is represented here. We've separated them into the front face, side face, and the top face. We've represented them here. Now, the area of the front face is 7 times 3. We have our answer. The area of the side face, 5 times 3. And the area of the top face, 7 times 5. Okay, now note that the front area and the back area is the same because we said that the opposite areas are always identical. They are always equal. So the, the front area and the back area are the, are the same and the top area and the bottom area are also the same. That is, they are equal. So what we do, we add the sum of all the areas of the different faces and multiply by 2. Now we've added, we've gotten the areas, the different areas, the area of the front face is, we've now found it to be 21 centimeter cube. The area of the side face is 15 centimeters square. The area of the top face is 
35 centimeters square. Now, when we add all together, we have 71. Now, we multiply that by 2 to get the surface area, and we have 142 centimeters square. So, therefore, the surface area of that cuboid is 142 centimeters square. Now, let's take some evaluations, see if, we, if we've been following all that we've learned today. Number one, use formula to calculate the volume of the following solids. We're given three different shapes here with their dimensions, and we're asked to look for the volume. Two, calculate the height of a cuboid with the following dimensions. Length, 14 centimeters, width, 8 centimeters, and volume, 560 centimeter cube. We're given the volume. If you notice, we weren't given the height, so you know what to do. Number three, Calculate the volume of a cube with an edge of 20 meters, 50 centimeters. Take note of the units and take note that the side, that whenever we have a cube, you know we are dealing with equal length. We said that the edge or the size of a cube always have equal length. Number four, a triangular, a rectangular prism, which is also a cuboid, has a volume of 680 centimeter cube and its height is 20 centimeters. Now, the question is, what is the base area of the prism? Okay, a rectangular prism or a cuboid has this volume. We have to look for the area of the base of the prism. Now, number five, express the following in centimeters. Express the following in centimeters. We have A, 400 meter cube, and B, 146.5 millimeter cube. We are asked to express it in centimeter cube. Number six, the volume of a water tank is given as 2,500 meter cube. What is its capacity in liters? So we have to express this in liters. Number seven, calculate the volume of the following. Okay? We are given a prism here. We have to calculate the volume of this prism. This is a triangular prism. Let us look for the volume. Now, number eight, find the surface area of this diagram. We have a cube here, and we're asked to find the surface area. I'm going to give us a few minutes to do these evaluations. Solution. We're asked to look for the volume of this cuboid. We've been given a formula as the volume equal to length times width times height. So simply you multiply all this, the length here, the width, and the height. And when you do that, we have 1,875 centimeter cube. So the volume of this is 1,875 centimeter cube. Also, we are asked to look for the volume of this, of this cube, also of this cuboid. We, have, we are going to use the same formula, length times width times height. When you multiply all together, we have 8x cubed centimeter cube. 8x raised to the power 3 centimeters cube. We have 2x times 2x times 2x. And this is our final answer. C, we're also asked to look for the volume of this diagram, the volume of this cuboid. The same formula applies here. we we'll multiply all, and we have 484.848 centimeters cubed. If you got the sums correct, please put your hands together for yourself. Number two, we're asked to find the volume, we're asked to find the height of a, di of a, of a shape when we're giving the volume as 506 centimeter cube, we're given the length and we're given the width. So we are looking for the height. So very simply, we impute the values we have into the formula and we look for the height. So 14 multiplied by 8 will give us 112. Then to get the height, we divide the both sides by 112. And our final answer is 5 centimeters. Therefore, the height for this shape with the, with the volume of 560 centimeter cube and length of 14 centimeters and a width of 8 centimeters is 5 centimeters. Now, we're, we're asked to find the volume of a cube. We're asked to find the volume of a cube given an edge of 20 meters, 50 centimeters. We're asked to find the volume of a cube given this edge. Now, the first thing to note is that the edge of a cube, the edges of a cube or the sides of a cube are always equal. So we've learned that the formula for looking for the volume of a cube is L raised to the power 3 or L times L times L. 
Now, the edge given is 20 meters, 50 centimeters. Now, this is wrong. We have to have our, our, our value in the same units. So the first thing to do here is to convert this to centimeters. Okay, we're going to make all of them of equal units. So in doing that, we have it as 20.50 centimeters. We've converted it to centimeters. Now to do that, we just multiply everything together. 20.50 raised to power 3 or 20.50 times 20.50 times 20.50. And our answer is 8,615.125 centimeter cubed. So that is the volume of the given cube with this dimension. Number four, we're asked to look for the, the, the base area of a triangular prism. We're asked to look for the base area of a triangular prism. And the volume of a triangular prism is given as base area times height. So from this formula, we can deduce the area, okay? We are given the volume of the triangular prism. We're given the height, but we're not given the area. So we're looking for the base area. So we just impute the values into the formula. The volume, 680, equal to A, which, is, which we are looking for, multiplied by the height, which is 20. Okay, and when we do that, we have, six, we have 680 over 20. Okay, therefore, our base area will be 680 divided by 20, and we have our answer as 34 centimeter cube. Now, we're asked to convert these to centimeter cubes, these values to centimeter cubes. So, you know, in doing that, you know, the thing to do here is to divide by 1,000. Okay, to convert meter cubes, centimeters, you have to divide by 1,000. So 400 divided by 1,000 will give you 0 0.4 centimeter cube and 146.5 meter cube divided by 1,000 will give us 0 0.1465 centimeters cube. If you got that answer correct, please put your hands together for yourself. Now, number six, we're asked to convert this to liters. Convert 2,500 centimeter cube to liters. Very simple question. All you have to do is multiply by 1,000. Multiply by 1,000. When we do that, we have 250,000 liters. Okay? This is the answer to this question. If you got that correct, put your hands together for yourself. Number seven, we're asked to look for the volume of this prism. We're given a prism here, a triangular prism, and we're asked to look for the volume. So you know the first thing to do is to look for the area of the triangular face. This is the triangular face and it has been extracted from the diagram. We have it here. The height is 4 centimeters and the base is 3 centimeters. So the formula for looking for the area of a triangular face is half base times height. So you impute the, the values into the formula and we have half 3 times 4. So when you do the sum, we have our area of triangular face as Six. So to look for the volume, we, we multiply the area of the triangular face by the length. Okay? The, the formula for looking for volume is area of triangular face multiplied by the length. So when you do the multiplication, we have the volume of this prism as 84 centimeters cube. If you got that answer correct, put your hands together for yourself. Now, the last question we're asked to look for the surface area of this cube. We're given a cube here and we're asked to look for the surface area. Now, the first thing to do is to look for the, indi the, the individual areas of the faces. I've extracted it out here. We have the front face, the side face, and the top face. So the first thing to do is to look for the area of these faces, add them together, then we can start looking for the surface area. Now, the area of the front face will be 6 times 7. Okay? This is the front face. You can see the base here, and you can see the height here. So, to look for the area of the front face, we'll multiply the base times the height, 6 times 7, and we have 42 centimeters squared. The area of the side, the same thing. We have it as 4. This is the base. Look at the diagram very closely. You see the base here is 4 centimeters, and the height is 7 centimeters. Now, when we multiply the two, we have the area of the side face 
as 28 centimeters square. Now, for the area of the top face, you would see that we have the base as 6 centimeters and the height as 4 centimeters. Remember that. Remember that the top face and the bottom face are always equal. They are always the same. The opposite sides are the same. They are identical. So, the top face or the bottom face is 6 times 4, which will give us 24 centimeters square. But the front face and the bottom area, okay, they are equal. The front face and the top face and the bottom area are the same. Okay, the sides are equal. So, therefore, we say the surface area is 2, open bracket, the addition of all these areas we have here, all the areas we've gotten, the area of the front face, the side face, and the top face. So, when we add it together, we have 91. And when we multiply it by 2, we have our answer as 188 centimeters square. If you got this answer, then you are correct. Well then, we've come to the end of the lesson for today. Today we learnt a lot about calculating the volume. We, we learnt about calculating the volume of cubes, cuboid, prisms, and surface area. We learnt how to calculate surface area. Please do well to go back and revise what we've learnt. So we'll meet in the next class. Thank you very much.